many years ago, when I was an old man, I decided that I wanted to bring back the dinosaurs. It was a clever thing we did involving mosquitoes trapped in amber that contained a dinosaur DNA. And so what we did, I invested many billions of pounds in creating a dinosaur-themed park. Wow. It was really great. Yeah, no, it was really good. It made the news. It was really good. And so what happened was eventually all the dinosaurs got out of their paddocks. There was murder and death. There was chaos, uh, chaos rain for the park. Uh, and one of the T-Rexes came for me. And I was scared, obviously, because they were pretty large. I stayed perfectly still behind a window. The T-Rex attempted to crash through the building. The building fell apart, but I survived thanks to these sturdy, sturdy windows. Wow. And I thought, T-Rex ran away, and I thought, bloody hell, who made these windows? So I leaned forward, I plucked the calling card from the window pane, and on the card it said, Graham's Windows and Doors. That's right, Graham's Windows and Doors are the finest purveyor of windows, doors, and conservatories in the Oval Area, and frankly, on planet Earth, if you ask me. Get yourself to grahamswindowsanddoors.co.uk. They're the finest purveyor of windows, doors, and conservatories in the Oval Area. They're a great customer service. The reviews speak for themselves. So get to grahamswindowsanddoors.co.uk. They are the sponsors of this episode. Now, on with the show. <laughs> Everyone. Hello and welcome to the Steve Kalis Show. The Steve Kalis Show is a podcast all about our personal development. Me, I'm trying to be a less stupid man. I'm joined by my co-hosts who are on their own spiritual and physical journeys. We're all trying to be more rounded, more learned human beings. Joining me on this quest is producer George Gunton. George, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm here again. Oh, you are so consistent. I know. You. Yeah. What's going on? You're my favourite one. Yeah, thank you. Now, to one of the two traitors uh, from last week, Lissy Jane. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you okay now? I'm good. I'm feeling better, thank you. Yeah, so are you, are you under the weather? Where is I it? was Where very ill last week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm glad you're that was there. my excuse, and I'm sorry I wasn't here. Well, I'm glad you're sorry. top boy, George. Sometimes sorry doesn't quite cut the mustard. <laughs> but we'll. But you are top boy, George. <laughs> Uh, today, we are going through the usual rigmarole of teaching each other things that we've learned. First of all is a nebulous question. A nebulous question is a question designed to get us a little bit loosey-goosey, warming us up for the episode, um, but get us thinking, get us uh, debating, and then after that, we go over the things we learned last week, and we, after that even, we teach each other new wonderful facts that we've learned in the week. So, George, what is our first nebulous question? Nebulous question. Uh, Robocop versus Terminator. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, that's yeah. a good one. Robo- Robocop versus Terminator. I'm going to go with Terminator. Because I think Robocop's held back by the slight slither of humanity that still survives within. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, probably Terminator. Terminator. I'd probably agree he's that. savage. There's lots of. He's just a. Ruthless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to go Terminator. Terminator. I agree. I'm yeah. going with Terminator. Because yeah. he's just, yeah, just a killing machine, right? It, he is a Terminator. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. right. Okay. All right. Keep him coming. Next one. <laughs> Keep him coming, baby. <laughs> We're going to do the battle of social media slash rich people. Okay. 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 Fist fight. Fist fight, fist fight. fight. Between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Well, so Elon Musk has got the power. He's a big fucking lumbering warthog of a man. Is he? Right, he's huge. Is he? Broad, massive, great lumbering behemoth, right? You're talking about the same person? Yeah, but Mark Zuckerberg, being slighter, is a genuine jujitsu um aficionado he and uh, know, an android and let's not forget <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's determined <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, so yeah uh, so mark zuckerberg uh elon musk is burning he's getting tired within the first three seconds yeah okay zuck's tying him up Z- Merry zuck. Christmas. yeah okay <laughs> so mark zuckerberg wins zuckerberg lissy he's got the stamina hasn't he yeah i think yeah. so he's genuinely an athlete he's very yeah. fit he's yeah yeah. Training, mm. so, yeah yeah and not real <laughs> so I'm just going to really hold he's on like, to that because like, I've yeah. He's, like oh, he's grown a beard. He's grown a beard recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, sort of. 
Yeah. So it just looks like he's grown a bit. But Mark Zuckerberg, if on the <laughs> video, I'll put side by side of Mark Zuckerberg and Data from Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The exact same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah they are. That's I like, like, that, like every, every time he's talking, he's like, hey, Mark, how is he? and he goes like, well, I'm also experiencing, <laughs> yeah. uh, experiencing humanity the same way you are. We all have feelings, right, fellow humans? He's like a real yeah, unusual yeah. dude. Yeah, he is. <laughs> well, I think he's tying up Elon and taking him all the way to fucking Pound Town. He's also very rich. <laughs> Very rich. Very yeah, rich. Very yeah. rich. They almost had a fight, didn't they? They almost I think, it, yeah, yeah, loads of yeah. people were trying to do it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the last one. Okay. Right, this one's a bit brutal. It's a bit savage. Okay. Okay. So, Remy from Ratatouille. Right, okay. <laughs> so the maps? <laughs> yeah. Right, go ahead. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Versus Stuart Little. Oh! oh. Fist fight. Stuart, isn't Stuart Little very wily, isn't he? Does he talk Stuart Little? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So Stuart, Stuart Little's, but then that guy, but then Remy, has Remy got control of a human? <laughs> <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> okay, right. Listen, you, you, you go, and then I'll, uh, I'll think about this. What logic can we use to decide? I'm just being mo- and like emotional towards it, and I just love Stuart Little. Like, I love Stuart Little. So yeah. Cute. I don't remember. Even but that's not the reason. No, because he would be like. I would su- support him in a fist fight. Mm. So it's con- so my mind is Stuart Little is essentially has a hu- human brain, right? He yeah. can talk, he can function. He's uh, what would you call it? You not think you were a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> not autonomy. Yeah, aut- he's autonomous. Is he autonomous? Oh, in that you mean he can make some decisions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whereas Remy, he can, but he doesn't have that human level uh, of intelligence. Savage. Yeah, let's, mm. let's assume that they're both angry right, and yeah. going for the kill, then maybe the shoot a little humanity means yeah, fear, hesitance, mm. intimidated, yeah, okay. and a savage Remy. Yeah, brutal. I've never seen a film. <laughs> Cook me a pie! Something like that. I've never seen a film. <laughs> I, know, I know that he, he controls a human by his hair and he cooks lots of pies. Have you ever seen Ratatouille? Mm, no, I have no. a long time ago. Yeah. So maybe the savageness of yeah of, of Remy. Remy. <laughs> yeah. Remy. Yeah, savageness correct. of Remy is enough to Overcome, overpower yeah and yeah. Yeah. Do some serious training you know what I mean? mm. um, but he has autonomy so he could train he could become like a martial arts expert assuming they know that it's coming but then they've got a lifespan of about 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> that's a big commitment he could uh, yeah. bring a sword big you know and just uh, dead oh yeah 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 well yeah, <laughs> yeah. he could bring a machine gun <laughs> yeah <laughs> Remy he could can. not turn up and he could yeah, sh- yeah. so yeah so <laughs> Let's assume they're there having a fist fight. They're both angry and want to go for the kill. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Remy, because he's, he's a rat. Yeah. He's surprisingly clever, even when they're feral. So. Whereas Stuart Little was... And hungry, so he could have hangry on his side. Yeah, and oh, eat him. Yeah. Was, Stuart Little's a mouse as well, wasn't he? Yeah. But yeah. Oh, Remy's yeah, 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 Remy's yeah. fucking eating that little bastard. All right, all right. <laughs> even though I love Stuart Little infinitely. Love, That's all. love Stuart yeah. Little. Great <laughs> film. Yeah. That's all I have. All right, let's just see if we can just squeeze in a couple more, because these are just... The... I thought they would be... I have a question for you, for you guys. Yeah, all right. Oh, go oh. ahead. Okay. This might upset you, though. Okay. Uh, uh, who's funnier? Mm-hmm. Jim yeah. Carrey or Matthew Perry? Oh, oh. Jim Carrey. Oh. 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 Really? You're too quick to get there. You're too quick to get there. Um, I think, wow, that's a really good question. I thought you were going to say Steve or George. <laughs> now you've ruined it for next week, George. Damn you. Uh, I, well, I think they both they both have very different... Jim Carrey, when I was growing up, was the funniest man alive. But in, and the next person I sort of fell in love with was Matthew Perry. They're both my comedy heroes. I know. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and most nice. of my personality is built on, their, on but theirs. But who's funnier? Yeah. Who's funnier? Funny. But then Matthew Perry is very naturally funny. Mm. They've both, they're both very dark. Like real mm. life characters, mm. yeah, mm. They're both very funny. If, if the question was, who would I prefer to have a beer with, and who, who do I think would make me laugh the most over beers? I reckon Matthew Perry. Yeah, yeah, he's much I know more anecdotal mean. and he's much more self-deprecating. Mm. Whereas Jim Carrey, do bits, <laughs> embarrassing me at the pub. I get all self-conscious. Okay. Do it again. What did... This is a famous Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't recognise it. <laughs> no, it's in all this movie. Yeah, right. So yeah, so if, if the question was engineered to that, it's like, who would I prefer to have a drink with and who do I think would make me laugh the most over beers? Matthew Perry, because Jim Carrey would, uh, he'd just get all metaphysical and start doing all the... Like, but shit, ten years ago, mm. if the opportunity arose and you could have one of them on the podcast, who would you choose? Uh, <laughs> ten, year, ten years ago, mm-hmm. I would say Jim Carrey. Okay. He's just prior to his sort of metaphysical awakening so he's still funny and loosey-goosey and 
didn't take himself quite so seriously as yeah. he takes him now. And Matthew Berry, Perry was 10 years ago, balls deep in drugs addiction. So you never know which mm, true, which yeah. Matthew Perry's going to turn up. Mm. You know what I mean? So you go, Matthew Perry's here and he's comatose. You know what I mean? okay, so, yeah. so if I could have one of them on the podcast 10 years ago, I would go Jim Carrey. I just think he was such a good storyteller. Mm. And Matthew Perry, you never quite know which version of him mm. would show up. I and think. he was creating a lot then as well. That's right, yeah. Whereas That's Matthew right. Perry was directed, right? That's right. In and that he's context. Still f- really struggling post friends mm. to. Uh, he did that thing with Zach Efron, which was good. Yes. And, but then after that, he just seemed to really struggle. <laughs> he was slurring a lot more and he was yeah. n- much less. I respect lightning fast wit. Yeah. And he. He'd lost a lot of that. Where yeah. Jim Carrey, even today, was it's still very he's still funny. creating it as well, just, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. Right. So, mm. Yeah, George, if you get if you want to on the podcast, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. I mean, I like Matt Perry, Jim Carrey, Matt Perry. I like that answer. I absolutely think it's very <laughs> <laughs> um, heartwarming. I love celebrities. I'm a big fan of Matt Perry, <coughs> but I don't know much about him since Friends. So mm. I only really know him from friends. Right, right, um, okay. Whereas Jim Carrey was my childhood yeah. comedian. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, what about you? Just because of the type of person I am, I probably would always say Matt Perry. Mm-hmm. Well, you'd rather, you'd rather interview him on the podcast yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I'd like to learn how I can adapt based on him on that day. Yeah. How do you adapt to a oh, person it's like so that? Be a challenge. And exactly. It would be, yeah, that I would see, be. I see. Mm. But then there would be an equal challenge, or be a challenge with Jim Carrey if we were interviewing him, um, because he's fast and energetic. Mm. So how, do, can we keep up with that, or do we bring him down because we just can't keep up with the speed? Yeah, of it. exactly. Good question, man. Really good question. Thank yeah. you. Yowza! God, that was a fucking bang. <laughs> yeah. What the- <laughs> Yeah, well done. Hey, Golden you, girl you takes them. it back. You can do it every week. I'll come well back done. next week. <laughs> well done. Very good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it should show you up then, George. Yeah. Yeah. Get it together, man. So is there any is there any more just lightning fast ones so I can use it for mine for content? Let's say for example, um uh Oh, okay, right. Who wins in a fight? Batman or Spider Man? Spider Man. Spider Man. I don't know. <laughs> I've stressed myself with my own question. Batman or Spider Man? Uh, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, he's, he's got superpowers. I'm thinking of like British, like sweethearts here. Like, oh, well, like, fight to the death. David Ambra or, oh. or oh. Del Boy from Only Fools and oh. Horses. <laughs> <laughs> David Amber, <laughs> Del Boy Troyer, Del Boy fight to the death. <laughs> Del Boy's taking it. Yeah, yeah, he's it. taking it. He's got. He's he's had some fights. He's got yeah. some fights under his belt. Yeah, David Amber, and also the commentary yeah. from David Amber on said fight. Yeah, that's w- amazing. That yeah, cheap shot at me and kicked me in the groin. <laughs> Immaculate David Amber. A, yeah, good. That's very good. Yeah, ones like that. Um, pe- yeah, because it's got to be people that are immediately in the consciousness. Uh, Graham Norton and Jonathan Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Ross. Yeah. Graham Norton, Jonathan yeah, Ross. He's yeah, he's going, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that. I've got Joanna Lumley and... Oh, Joanna Lumley and uh, Catherine Tate. <laughs> 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 Joanna Lumley, fight to the death. Joanna Lumley, Catherine Tate. Who's taking it home? I don't know who Joanna Lumley is. <gasps> Goddess, I genuinely, she's one of my first crushes. I just, I've always been she is, weirdly in she love with her. She is my icon. She's incredible, isn't she? Oh, I've oh. always wanted to go, mysterious, oh, sacred beast, mysterious <laughs> <laughs> <Stevie> stallion. <laughs> no, right, yeah, I do. Know you do, yeah. She is a treasure, a national treasure. Oh. What did we use? Was she? Uh... Ab Fab. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that's mm-hmm. what shows all the time. And then she did that series. Oh. The the girl. I have a daughter. Yeah. And she did, no, the one with <laughs> Michelle Keegan. I can't remember what it's called. The one where they're Brilliant. in the army? No. Uh, Based on like a murder, like crime thing. <laughs> it's, it's good. I'll find out. So he's winning. Joanna Lumley or Catherine Tate? Catherine Tate. Oh, Joanna Lumley should have bite you like an animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got enough live experience, hasn't she? Yeah, she's she a gangster. She yeah. knows. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's get our hand. Oh, we should continue. This, it's literally our main source of listenership. Right? It comes from this. Um, oh, let me think a few more. So let's go for... That was good. Pretty good. You should do a podcast. I'm good at this stuff. What about like uh, politicians? I I was. Oh, politicians. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, one. okay. Yes. Because we all hate them, right? Yeah, so right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so former Prime Minister Boris Johnson versus current Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Fist fight to oh. the death in the street. Who's oh, taking Boris home. got it. Yeah, Boris. they're both he, bloody ponces, He doesn't they? give. So he just doesn't care, does he? some fire in Boris's belly. And yeah, yeah, bet. yeah. I bet he used to play rugby and stuff. You well, know, we have seen him take out that kid school. in a charity football match. <laughs> 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 yeah, He's so savage. Yeah. <laughs> He's just brutal. <laughs> so what do you think? Boris is... Uh, Boris, Boris is great. Yeah, Boris, yeah. Okay. yeah. He's a bigger bloke as well, <laughs> just generally. How about Godzilla Optimus Prime? Oh, Optimus Prime, come on. Yeah, he's got the weaponry. Yeah, I was going to say, has he got weapons? Because he would literally just mix him up. Godzilla's got nuclear breath. That's true. But he's fucking way bigger than Optimus. But Optimus has a sword. Mm -hmm. Can he get... Would that... It cuts through Megatron, I suppose. He's steel, isn't he? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, So Godzilla and Optimus were going... uh, I actually think (coughs) it's going to be much closer than we think, because Godzilla's Mm. hard as fuck Mm. and beats the shit out of King Kong. You know, yeah. and the Scar King from the most recent film, and another Godzilla esque mold type creature who's much bigger than Godzilla in the film. I think and Mecha Godzilla. And Mecha Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, yeah. Exactly. But with the help of Kong. So who knows? Anyway, let's move on. We've got something there. I'll be able to make something work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've <laughs> got something. That. So yeah, well that's Well done, fun. everybody. Very well done. Okay, so let's move on to what have we learned this week? What have we learned? So this section is what we learned this week, where we entertain each other and teach each other the things that we've learned in the previous seven days. Last week, uh, George and I were abandoned to steer the ship alone, mm-hmm. and we learned that George has his finger right on the pulse of a terrifying conspiracy revolving around vans and van life. I do. And I waffled something uh, in improvis- improvisational terms because I mm-hmm. hadn't thought of anything. Nice. So that's why I had yeah. going on. Yeah, uh, so, Lissy, have you learned anything this week? I did. I learned why helium makes our voices higher. So when you, like, suck in helium from a balloon... The inspiration from this coming from my son's 16th birthday. He was obviously like breathing in. And I was like, this is something I've never thought about. Why does it make our voices higher? Mm. Like weird. Yeah, it's and weird. it's just like the it, it travels twice as fast. So it travels mm-hmm. twice as fast through the vocal folds, meaning our voices are higher. Well, so it's like we're fast forwarding ourselves. Basically, yeah. Mm-hmm. In, mm. Through sound. Wow. How clever is that? That's r- That's real. <clears throat> fact that's a real thing you just learned and you're going to be bitterly disappointed with whatever drudgery george and i have for you because that was real information well done lizzie very good yeah that's really good exactly isn't that so cool. interesting really it's cool. never something i've I ever thought about actually you could probably add to that because there's another chemical you can in- inhale which does the opposite yeah, makes yeah. It and i think it's is it boron i think i can't remember it might not be it boron. was a longer it was a long name i did look into it but i can't so can say it oh yeah of course fact, yeah, yeah literally a computer yeah. in my hand um. <laughs> <laughs> sulfur hexafluoride sulfur hexafluoride yeah is a chemical that makes your voice deeper mm. yes mm. like oh, or presumably yeah. uh, similar similarly like double but slows double it down yeah slows it down right, so it'll travel see. through the vocal folds slow at a slower rate right. therefore making your voice lower Mm. I've also just, just, just learned we've got vocal folds. <laughs> Sorry, vocal, some people say chords. Some uh, people say folds. Yeah. I like folds because that's a f- like that's how they look. They actually look like this. Oh, I see. So they fold in and out. Right. 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 So they're constantly like this. And the noise we make is filtered, <coughs> funneled through the yeah. vocal folds. Yeah. Like a vibration. Yeah, it's yeah. literally just like a constant vibration. But if you've got that <laughs> traveling Digital. twice as fast, obviously yeah. it's going to come out higher, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, like when you fast forward like an old tape or whatever, or, or um, yeah. whistle yeah. with your fingers. If yeah. you do it harder, it will be more high pitched. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So when you like, have you ever done the grass thing? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, what I was yeah, yeah. Of. So yeah. that actually represents your vocal folds, chords, oh. in the same way. Wow. It's the air through th- traveling through them. Well, blow me down. There you go. That was real information. <laughs> <laughs> blow me <you> down. <laughs> 
<laughs> but if you haven't got time, then we'll just keep doing the podcast. Well done. That was really good. Really good. Well done. George. Um, I carried on with van life, but I didn't find any more about the conspiracy. Um, there was a law about, there was like a trespassing law that was signed. Uh, but that was in America. I don't think one's been signed in the UK. So it's not currently illegal, but mm. I'm sure they'll make it illegal. If you didn't hear. I did. She did. Yeah, okay. Um, so, but the thing that I learn about is leads on from it. And it's a place in America called Slab City. Sweet. Slab City. Okay. Uh, and someone on a video I watched earlier basically called it like a bougie homeless camp. Right. And it's uh, <laughs> the person, things, it right. was a person who lived there. <laughs> a bougie homeless camp. So okay. Slab City is publicly owned land in America. Yeah. Uh, and they call it the last free city of America. Oh, so it has oh, no oh. law. It has no governance over it. Oh, my God. So it's just like, essentially, people have gone there to not live yeah. in yeah. the establishment. Uh, and it's, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's really cool. That's I mean, so it is cool. a bit... It doesn't look that nice, and there's no one picking up rubbish or anything. Yeah, I'm not like sure. That. A homeless, bougie, sheep. Yeah, yeah. Full of yeah. Wow, that's cool. That's yeah, really cool. yeah. So I assume, it's, I assume it's then privately owned land. No, so it's. I'll, I'll I'll verify this, but it's owned by. Let me verify it. Yeah, because so I, I, I would assume that <coughs> every inch of the United States. No, it's it's owned by like a a trust. Right. Uh, oh, that yeah. don't want it. Yeah. So it's just sort of wasteland. Right, I see, uh, see, see. see. Um, and it just kind of reminds me of the episode of The Simpsons when the bin men go on strike and like Springfield is literally riddled right. in rubbish and there's no order, is there? It's looking yes. like mad. Look a bit like that. Any political system you try to think of where you mm-hmm. think, how, how would I change the world? Any new political system we try and make up eventually ends up looking not unlike the system we have now, where like, you go, well, what if I, what if I rule my own island, mm. and then suddenly there's fifty people there, and I go, well, there needs to be some kind of law and order because everyone's, you know, getting in trouble and fighting, and there's there's disputes over land and produce and crops. So what do we need? Some kind of governor, okay? Well, how do we choose the governor? Well, he should probably be elected. Just mm, like that, yeah. you've got fucking, yeah, yeah. Just, just like that, you've got politics and parliament all exactly. over again. <laughs> So it's owned by California State Teachers Retirement System. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. So I assume they don't, they own, yes, they own it or, or for whatever reason, mm. but they don't have a need for it. So it's but just it be subject to the laws of the land, wouldn't it? So there must be some no, limit. No, it's private, private land. I see, but I reckon you can still own land in, say, California, did you say? Yeah. I reckon you'd still be subject to rules and regulations pertaining to the land because even if you owned a house in California you'd still have to get you know permits to build and all yeah so it, well th- but they haven't this is the thing it's yeah. like um camper vans yeah and like so makeshift just oh, land. Okay. yeah yeah, yeah. See. um yeah. the deed did not contain any restrictions recapture clauses or restoration provisions okay so yeah. I guess it is so if you committed a crime saying, and went there you wouldn't be able to like oh I don't know about that cause <laughs> it's still in America yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's the grey area I was trying mm, to figure out because that yeah. sounds mm. wicked. But yeah, but yeah, I expect like ultimately the court would say this is America, and you're you're, you're, you're still in, yeah you're in this land. Yeah. This land is ultimately American land. Mm. And it, so. so it used to be like an army base, and then it, uh, in World War Two, mm. and the reason it's called Slab City is because there's old leftover concrete slabs oh, on the floor, so cool. and then the 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 first people to sort of move there and live there were the veterans of the army base or yeah. the military base once it was taken mm. down and then they went there to live there. Wow, so, yeah. and then Sweet. loads of... That's really cool. Odd, 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 odd ones went there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well done, George. Very good fact. Yeah. Very, very good fact. Yeah. You're a theme element. I really appreciate that. You're well, right. I've actually got another one that I've learned. <laughs> I've been learning... Stop you, baby. I'm ahead. learning about <laughs> the Drake, Kendrick Lamar battle that's going on in hip hop. Oh. Yeah, I but if that's, that's not relevant for this then I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what's going on with that. I know yeah. they're beefing, I know that um Well the the reason I wanted to talk about it mm. was cuz it's maybe a bit topical. Yeah. Because one of the lyrics in Kendrick Lamar's track mentions that Drake likes girls underage. Mm. And then he didn't mention any names or anything like that. And then Drake came back and said, I didn't do anything with Millie Bobby Brown. Oh. And a lot of people on the internet are like, did, did you just call yourself out on that? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 
That's actually. a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Well, those accusations have been around for a while, haven't they? Drake yeah, because mm. so I saw a video, uh, I've been reading up on it, mm. uh, and there was a video <coughs> from however long where she was 14 saying, oh, he texts me and he gives me boy advice and he's so great and I love him. And it's like, he, yeah. I think he was like 31 at the time. Here's my, my general rule when it comes to any celebrity or famous person. Unless, the, the one exception is Conan O'Brien. Funniest man in the world. Best human being ever, ever, right? He's my favorite. He's my favorite celebrity. And the only exemption to this. Don't put famous people on a pedestal. Don't idolize them. Don't make them your heroes. They will ultimately be pedophiles or sex offenders or abusers. There's some kind of thing that happens when you get that powerful attention to a fucking asshole. There, you will be let down time and time again if you if you um, if you practice any sort of idolatry when it comes to any sort of famous person <coughs> celebrity. So yeah, I'm fucking both. Sorry, sorry. Is that right. for male? Are you, are you? Is that for males though? Uh, or is that what you just said applicable to females as well? I suppose my my experience is that being a man, I tend to, and being, being a man who is fatherless, I tend to lean towards men, men. and as mm. my sort of online heroes and people mm. to aspire to be. Women, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm trying to uh, yeah, I'm treating all genders fairly here, and I think, well, I mean, it's much less much less <coughs> well they say you know in the in like the epstein yeah case course, there was men and women yes, involved true. in that yeah. and that could that you know yeah there's thoughts that that went all the way into like oh, royalty yeah, and yeah. stuff yeah, like that so you don't you, there's the, no way of knowing but yeah, you're right it is a difficult one because most of the insidious crimes or they just ultimately turns out to be men doesn't it and so so i don't know i don't know i just think <coughs> just as a general rule <coughs> just keep celebrities where they belong providing you with some form of entertainment and then leave them alone mm. unless they're Conan O'Brien who's one of the great humans of our time or Jim Carrey or or Jim Batman. Carrey no Jim Carrey's yeah. got a sordid past man. The Rock Jim, The Rock I admire like I said I, I can admire The Rock but yeah, okay. even The Rock is uh, he's a weird guy yeah he's, he's a, weird a weird dude guy. there's some accusations there too is so, there oh, I didn't yeah, know that yeah, oh, there's okay. one or two little things that have cropped up so that's what I mean and mm. The Rock was someone who I would have thought I, I just brought into the PR version of him mm. that mm. PR polished version of him and that's unwise and the only person that's ever passed that sort of test is Conan O'Brien the rest of them are just fucking I don't read into any of it but I just see The Rock as just anyone who's that energetic mm. there's something going on there yeah. you know no one in yeah. real life is well like the, that. Rec the recent thing about you the should rock. come to my lessons george i will prove you wrong you're very much the rock of the music world yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i think the the recent thing about the rock was some people who used to work with have outed him from this recent movie saying he rocked up six hours late mm -hmm. cost the production like five hundred thousand right, dollars yeah, yeah. or something or even more than a million dollars mm -hmm. just in production fees um used to piss in bottles all, all the time just mm -hmm. throw the bottles and just being gross on right work okay. with. that's the reason I could you never that. know who to believe because the, the the opposing thing is once you get to a certain point of power people are always gonna try and rip you down mm -hmm. so, you know, and any story even without substance or evidence mm -hmm. will just totally harm that reputation so i just think just watch conan o'brien i read the other day that selena gomez hmm? walks around naked and leaves her underwear lying around for her staff to pick up so maybe it is just as weird. In, in yeah, it's just famous. a different angle, isn't yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if a bloke was doing but that... Well, that's funny, yeah, because I was going, oh, right. <laughs> if you'd gone... But then yeah. I think, do I do that sometimes when I'm in a rush? Yeah, I probably do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you're living... <clears throat> but you're not paying someone to then pick that up. No, but would I? If I could? You're a diva waiting to but if free. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking from all angles. I'm just being fair. Like, mm. is it that big a deal compared to a male's, like, yes. sex abuse? But is if, that a big if, a deal? If The Rock was doing that and he had women AIDS... There, no, well, there's a spectrum. Oh. There's a spectrum uh, yeah, of yeah. deviancy. And it's the arrogance of, well, here's my fucking underwear. Mm. Someone who is paid in this job will come and pick it up, which is not something that any of us would do because we have sensibilities and we haven't grown up to be a fucking pompous Bennett. But if you get rich and powerful enough, to, you know, some people get swayed by that and the sense of who they are, their normal social structure and sense mm. of place just gets totally blown up mm. you wouldn't do that i know i wouldn't do that i'm just thinking have I, yeah. I have i accident i would use yeah. the word accidentally have mm. i accidentally done yeah, that yeah, before I'm, i there's i i don't have any evidence of her doing that it's just something <clears throat> yeah. I, read. I really like selena mm. selena gomez so she's really real so that makes well, me yeah. Yeah. this is this is my point we can only <laughs> you'll only ever know selena gomez from the 
however her PR people want you to see her as. Yeah. And you think, well, no, because I've seen these vulnerable interviews where she goes, da 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 da. Mm, mm. There's, those vulnerable interviews exist for those reasons. Mm. I mean, you would never mm. know a famous person unless there's so much, unless there's, I mean, like the, the reason like I keep saying Conan O'Brien is because you can't fake being on TV for 40 years, mm. having mm. thousands of hours of footage of you, people behind the scenes, and the lovely things that are constantly being said by the people that you're working with. Mm. Jim will fix so, it. Uh, Oh, no, well, the rumours about Jimmy Savile were there long, and part of the controversy yeah, was, okay. it was long before he died, people would... It was sort of known, it, and yet no one did about anything about it, about it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but, so, that's my point, and is, or another, this one of the sort of lessons from my son, is you can't know a celebrity, and as much as we want to, we want to admire them, you only get exactly what they want you to see. Mm -hmm. And everyone in that facade will crack, and you <coughs> see a little slice of... Uh, but there's good things and bad things about that. Like from Selena Gomez's point of view, from a woman's point of view, seeing mm. her be so open or her PR mm -hmm. team being so open about size and body confidence mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. doing it. I'm not I'm not changing the way I look for mm -hmm. anyone else. Yeah, if I feel great. confident in my body right now, I'm eating the cake mm -hmm. and I'm not going to feel good. I think mm -hmm. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I think oh, that's there's, amazing. There's great things. I still I really admire The Rock. I still mm. really admire like Will Smith taught me more about how to be a father than my actual father did. <laughs> but I wouldn't, you know, tr I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't, no. you know, I wouldn't have any sort of reverence yeah. for him outside of the gratitude I have because yeah. he entertains me and there's actual valuable lessons to learn from people. Mm. Will Smith's books, like, you know, I feel the same way about him. I think he's, his life is incredible. Yeah. Lessons to be learned. Mm -hmm. However, you keep him at a distance. That's my advice. Yeah. There's still, you can go, I really respect that person. I really respect their values. But I only know 2% of the, yeah, you know, yeah. exactly what their whole personality is. Mm. Mm. So that's the wow, that was really good podcasting. Really good. Mm. That was a good little debate on podcast. Good work, everybody. Yeah. Well, that's what we learned. What yeah, did what did you, you learn? learn? <laughs> well, okay. cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I learned I got mad editing skills. Yeah. <laughs> Just the sound effect of the door shut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I learned like, run really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Full speed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good sort of um little celebrity debate there. I really like that. That's good podcast and stuff. I could do more of them. I'm yeah. quite I'm quite uh up to date with stuff like that. Mm. Nice. I could yeah. Well, mm. I've always wrestled with it. I've always <coughs> debated with whether to include a section that is sort of pop culture section pop culture or news, or news. Yeah. yeah 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 it, it helps keep us relatively relevant mm. the only reason i don't do it is because it's totally irrelevant six months from now and it's mm. a section people mm. go, oh i saw that panda yeah. oh, no. and people we get really nice bursts where people binge a lot of stuff previous oh, if they wow, find us cool. so if you get so well we'll have to just think about that because maybe i think the benefits outweigh that mm. but we'll see um so what i learned this week Great many things, great many things. Did you learn about religion, Steve? I did learn about religion, but actually uh, yesterday in this very garage, Kevin and I interviewed a uh, wicked, wicked lady, a local lady called Grace Pye. Lady ages her for some reason. She's like in her 20s, right? right okay. So um, we interviewed uh, the brilliant Grace Pybus. Young woman? Yeah, young woman. Yeah, okay. No, but, but it ages me. <laughs> <laughs> You're an older man. Am I? I think so. Oh, come on. <laughs> or are you just oh. a man at this point? You're not young or old. You're just a man. It's perceptive. If you're talking to an eight-year-old, we're young. We are so young. An, yeah. An eight-year-old? Eighty. Oh, right. right. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Eight-year-old. My, yeah. my daughter was like Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's a harrowing realisation. You are, anyway. So, yeah, how do I phrase it? Like, I'm a human being trying to have a conversation a young <laughs> and woman. use words. A, a, pers a, a person? Oh, yeah, we spoke to her. interviewed her. We, yeah, yes, uh, yeah, okay. I'll talk you. I'll talk you crazy kid lingo. All right, <laughs> so right, fine. So uh, yesterday in this in this very garage, Kevin and I interviewed Grace Pybus. Mm -hmm. Now Grace recently, with two of her friends, sailed three thousand miles across the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, you do. <laughs> now bear in mind that's the same uh, that's the same body of water that killed the Titanic, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> and that is full of you know, sharks and whales and storms and kind of wild icebergs. Yeah, yeah and it was icebergs. Um, so we, essentially what we did, we had a, a, a really great conversation with her and learned all about the Atlantic Ocean, what it takes to be a rower and attempt to break world records and it, it, it compete in these races. Mm -hmm. Now, the key thing that we learned about yesterday was marlins. Do you know, know anything about marlins? Because I didn't know anything it's about like the fish. Them. That's, that's right. With the long neck. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Hey, that's <laughs> Robson <good>. Green. 
<laughs> Tell me a lot. Right. Well, that's, that's more than me and Kev knew. So, yeah, really good. From the Robson Green what, documentary. Oh, yeah, no, me and Oliver, when he was a little boy, we used to watch his, like, fishing program. Ah, wow. Yeah, yeah. And that's and he's funny. Do you know what Marlon was before that? No, I didn't have a clue. I don't know who Robson Green is either. Oh, he's great. Really he was great. In a, right. I love his... One of his songs is mine and my mum's song. Robson and Jerome, wasn't it? He was in a yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, what's that fucking song? Saturday night at the movies. Who cares what picture we see? When you hug a movie, it's baby happening again. That tumbleweed moment when movie. you don't know a yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And he, and he just cracks off. I know that song. I know, oh. but George is oh, like, I don't know, know any of those songs. Saturday night oh, at the movies. Yeah, no, you really. Don't Who know. cares what picture we see? Still don't know. It. When you hug a movie, baby, in the back room of the balcony. One of my earliest memories is my mum holding me, picking me up, dancing to that song. Oh, it's oh, nice. Rob's in room. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah. Marlins. Marlins. So, yeah. <laughs> and the full story of how they were attacked by a Marlin is fucking terrifying. <laughs> right, okay. Now, a Marlin is enormous. Yeah. It's apparently one of the fastest things in the ocean. That's how fast this thing is. It's deadly. It punched a hole through their boat. That's how strong this thing right, is. Okay. Right, okay. So, bear in mind, they're, I don't know, 50, about halfway, wherever it was, 1,500 miles or 2,000 miles into this, in mm-hmm. the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Mm-hmm. Stuck, just the three of them, on the way to... Uh, Antigua or wherever they were going mm-hmm. and they were attacked by this marlin so basically a, a school of tuna um, hid under the boat trying to hide from the marlin right, okay. so the marlin trying to get to the tuna punches three huge holes in their boats just to get to the tuna oh my god whack, whack, whack. and the the gear that they give them to you know fill holes mm-hmm. and inflate this put it in a hole none of it was big enough because the fucking hole was massive oh my god yeah it's enormous destroyed their food and it was uh, Jesus. really like yeah so I've become terrified of my <laughs> I'm never been. going on a boat again <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like and they said they didn't take too many precautions against Marlin attacks because they're so rare yeah why would you yeah, yeah. And, uh, but yeah they weren't they made like global news they were in like the Daily Mail oh they were like all over yeah, BBC News just talk because it's such a rare thing oh I mean, right wow yeah, fucking nearly murdered by a Marlin yeah right <laughs> so uh, yeah <laughs> So what, wow. what I learned was that marlin, uh, the, the marlin fish, is terrifying, really powerful, really fast. Mm. Um, but the full story of that is breathtaking. And she's a brilliant storyteller. So, uh, yeah, re- look forward to that. Yeah. So I learned about what, what it takes to sail the Atlantic Ocean and about marlin. Mm. That's Amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, so those are the three. Is there anything else anyone want to contribute? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Saturday night at the movies. <coughs> Who cares what picture we see? We were going to do, do you have any, um, <laughs> anything you would like to share? Uh, like uh, content? Oh, like is there share? any content that you'd recommend? Like, so last week, last week, George recommended Dad, How Do I? Which is a YouTube channel oh, by some yeah. guy mm. um, who teaches kids how to shave and fix plumbing and that sort mm. of thing. It's really, really cool. Uh, I recommended Corridor Crew, which I thought was a really interesting one. Mm-hmm. Do you have any, any YouTube channels that you, even if it's to do with your singing? And, uh, um, not, well, I found a good podcast this week for musicians mm-hmm. um and there's a uh, there's a, an incredible musician called jacob collier he's, oh, he's revolutionary yes yes. Yes, 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 yes so his mom does a podcast Susie collier and she interviews a massive spectrum of musicians from lots of different backgrounds styles genres and stuff and she's the way she speaks to them and the way she, she's very holistic in her approach so it's really I don't know. There's a warmth about her, but she—it's just amazing, okay. like just to f- how people find music and why they find music and their journeys through music. Like it's really fascinating. Wow. So what's so, the name of that podcast? Uh, Susie Susie Collier, I think it's just her name. Yeah, it okay. might be a Susie. type. I don't remember. Should but we, yeah, we, no. Did you find it? Or yeah, we, I find yeah. it because it's really good. Saturday night at the movies. <laughs> Who cares what picture we see? Is that what your contents? Recommended I recommend you 90s sensation <laughs> Robson and Jerome. Oh, I, I thought we were talking like <laughs> 40s. No, the way no, you were they're very, it. like they're very right. crooner-ish, but uh, they're fucking nice. Oh, it's called Susie Explores. Susie Explores. Yeah. So Susie Explores, uh, the podcast. That's Mel's. Um, Mel, sorry, that's Lizzie's recommendation. Susie Explores. Very good. I like that one. Um, yeah. Apologies. Uh, <laughs> George, any content? Uh, not from what I learned about Slab City in particular, because that's what I've been learning about. Um, I watched a couple of just random videos that weren't sort of related, but people ended up being there to look at it because they were van lifing or whatever. Sure. Um, but I do have uh, a recommendation if you want to learn about the Kendrick Lamar Drake 
Okay, sure. yeah. Beef sure. that's sure. going on. Yeah, yeah. What's the beef is a YouTuber who has gone through... Oh, he's gone know. through... Th- um, uh, no, sorry. What's the dirt? Not what's, what's the, the dirt? The, oh, what's the beef? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but he's uh, sorry. What's the dirt? He's gone through all of the history and why there's beef in the first place, um, uh, and what sort of contributed mm. to that. So, and he's done other 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 musicians and why they're beefing with other people. So right, I see. That, that's my recommended content. Okay, and I've got a website I'd like to recommend this week, and the website I'd like to recommend is Graham's Windows and Doors. <laughs> Graham's Windows and Doors. <laughs> co. uk. Yeovil's finest purveyor of windows, doors, and conservatories. They're customer friendly. The reviews speak for themselves. So get yourself to Graham's Windows and Doors. co. uk. They are the sponsors of this episode, sponsors of the show, sponsors of all the great events we've got lined up, the Pride Yeovil Awards, all those sorts of things. They're brilliant guys. So get yourself to Graham's Windows and Doors. co. uk. That's my recommendation. And it's great. Mm. Thanks very much. Uh, so, guys, are we calling that a podcast? Mm. Mm. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was all right. That's great. Really yeah. good, I reckon I can carve that in. So, really, really, mm. lovely. really, really good. So, George, where can people find you? I <coughs> am the Good Lad Gamer on YouTube. Uh, I make Raid Shadow Legends content, which is a mobile game. Uh, it's very niche, but I'm a fun guy uh, and I have a good time playing it. So, come and watch me. And now you're a top boy. Golden, um, boy. golden child, yes, boy, golden boy, man. Child. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch news, is it? Child. All right, Drake. <laughs> uh, Drake, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Lizzie, where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram at B Music Yeovil or on TikTok as Lissy Jane Vocals. Excellent. And you can find me and the whole group at The Steve Kalis Show, C-A-L-I-S. The Steve Kalis Show on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We're all there on all of those things. We're experimenting with all of them. Uh, if you could head to Spotify, if you're listening to us on Spotify, click the follow button, leave us a five-star review. That thing really, really helps. Or uh, Wherever you're listening to us, please consider leaving a review or subscribing, whatever the process is over there. That's the, we want to get to the top of the mountain, particularly the Spotify mountain. That's the cool kids' table, and that's where we want to be. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, George, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thanks having me. Lissy, thank you for joining me. You're welcome. And Kevin. listener, we love you very much and we'll see you next time. <clears throat> Bye. 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 You added like a minus seventh on that or something. That was yeah, well, like, so before, nice. that's what I was going Before for. we started, he said, watch me add a minus seventh for yeah, yeah. later at the end. Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> yeah, he Is that said, sarcasm? No. Oh, <laughs> was that sarcasm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, hi, are you all right? Hi, everyone.